Hi everyone. Guess what? 100! If you count the reissues of Top Gun and Scott Pilgrim, which I do, in 2021 I have seen, as of this review, 100 new, new film releases in 2021. This is number 100. It's our 100th 2021 movie review, guys. We did it. We got a triple digits and there's more to come. <laughs> And what's the movie that has the honor of being 100? Well, it is Playing With Sharks. Playing With Sharks, which is a new documentary, movies and TVs that we do here, of course. And it's a, a documentary that premiered at the Sun and Film Festival this year. Um, it was picked up by National Geographic and Disney+. Plus, and it's streaming on Disney+. Plus. It's directed by Sally Aitken. Aitken? Yeah, Atkin. Um, and the story centers on is a documentary centering on Valerie Taylor. Now, Valerie Taylor, for those who don't know her, which many of us don't, she's um, an Australian conservation conservationist when it, um, with a particular focus on sharks. Um, but a lot of people don't know is that she actually start. she also was, along with her, her uh, beloved late husband, Ron, were undersea cinematographers on Jaws, which a lot of people don't know. Also, sidebar, my brother, if you're watching this, I'm not going to use your name. If you're watching this, go watch Jaws, you poser. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brother is like, I'm the biggest shark fan ever, but he's never seen Jaws. I'm like, whatever. All right, back to the movie. Um, and it's about her life, and it's just kind of about her um, trying to help these beautiful creatures. Look, from that description, um, playing with sharks is going to sound like some kind of puff piece profile on this person. And it's not. And I think um, it's very, very... Playing Sharks is, a, is a very, very, very good. And I think what makes it very good is that if this were some just kind of profile on a, on a kind of conservationalist, it would just be kind of puffy and fluffy. And I mean, you'd, it would be like, you know, you'd be like, oh, that's cool that she did that, but it wouldn't be that interesting. But like any good film or documentary subject, Valerie Taylor was, is a complex person. And by having her talk about it, um, a lot of people don't know is that before she became a conservationist, along with the Jaws thing, she was, she hunted sharks. A lot of people don't know. And she kind of had to be awakened to the idea of, basically, um, at first it was a way to kind of battle sexism. She kind of did it to be, say she did it, but then what happened was is that she bonded with the creatures and struggled with the fact that she killed a few of them. And was kind of told in um, in uh, Australia that that's just what they did. And then um, it was a combination of that early career plus um, the unfortunate side effect of Jaws, which was that when it came out, um, it scared people to such a degree that it caused them to actually um, pursue hunting sharks like regular people, which saddened Miss Taylor made her want to save sharks and she actually um through her efforts i um, was long road but she actually uh, we find out in the film um at least in australia anyway has put at least one species of shark on um the protected species list which is great um which is a fantastic and she did that and it's all but the thing is it's a tearing story it's a story of her and her conservationist um stuff it's also about her kind of beautiful relationship with her husband ron and that's kind of what makes this movie good flaws I have with it because there are a few it's a little maybe too standard it doesn't quite have a lot of flair to it it is kind of just like that national graphic national geographic thing of you know that also with what I'm describing to you I don't think it, I think the Disney factor also kind of hurts it somewhat because I think that you could have really had a, a cove or blackfish kind of thing that really makes us you know makes us upset and really gets us angry but Obviously, they're not going to do that on a platform that also has, like, Finding Nemo. And so they couldn't really go far enough with just showing how detrimental the effect of shark hunting is. And I'm not saying they need to get graphic and gory, but, like, you need to feel it more. That was my biggest problem. Despite that, though, I am recommending Playing with Sharks because it's just... The subject is a fascinating subject, and she did a lot of wonderful things. And so, for that reason, not much more to say. Um, you know what? I'll give Playing with Sharks four out of five stars. It's not perfect... But it's worth a look, and it's really, and uh, Valerie Taylor, the movie's good, Valerie Taylor, and what she's done for the Sharks is, is great. So, um, so that is where we'll leave it off. Um, because the book on it, uh, Playing with Sharks, 
four to five stars. We made it to 100 uh, 2021 releases, you guys. Yay. Um, okay. Um, and Trailer Trash, none of us on Disney Plus was a short month. A little bit. Right at the beginning. There was a little bit. Nothing after. Okay. Um, so we'll be back. Um, I'm hoping later tonight. So here's what I'm planning on doing. Establish that we are definitely seeing Still Waters. We are definitely seeing Jungle Cruise. And maybe the Black... Or, no, not the Black Knight. The Green Knight, rather. Different Knight of Arthurian Legend. Um, that... Um, if it comes Edwardsville. I don't know yet if it is. I heard it got a wide release. That's never a guarantee with my theater, but we'll see. I, I'm, it, you'll, I will see it at some point, because I'm going to see it. I'm a big fan of that director, but it may not be this weekend. But if it is, if I'm able to go, if it's playing here, I will definitely go, and we'll see it. But um, this week I'm doing a new endeavor. So as many people have noticed, and I mentioned it before, I've been a little behind on my TV reviews that I promised. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, basically to save productivity, I have about eight shows that I want to talk about. Um, some of which are already completed, and I've already seen her in the can. So here's what I'm going to do. To save me the trouble of going through all that editing, we're going to do a special kind of three-part edition of TV Review Roundup this week. Um, I was thinking about starting it tonight. I'm going to do it later tonight, the first one. Thursday was going to be playing the second one, and then Friday or Saturday, the third one. It's going to be in three parts, and basically three shows will be covered on the first part, three shows will be covered on the second part, and then two shows will be covered on the third part, just so I can do it. Um, I've gotten hints to some of the videos, some of them I've talked about doing in the past, some of them I haven't. Um, you'll find out what they are tonight. Um, I'm done with at least two of them, and I'm almost done with another one. So we'll talk about those later tonight. Um, uh, we'll start part one, and then come back again for part two. I'm gonna leave it a mystery. You're just gonna have to wait and watch to see what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna do that to you. I'm gonna be a dick. Um, uh, <laughs> alright. Um... Yeah, and then um, that'll be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, I love y'all class is missed. I love you 3000. Be kind to one another. If you like this review or you you like um, my reviews in general um, and you want to subscribe, like, um, click the little bell, whatever that does, I don't know, but that would be awesome. And if you want to find me elsewhere, I am on letterbox.com, the wonderful, um, which is where I started this whole endeavor before YouTube. Um, I'm also there under Grand the Movie and TV Guy, and I have reviews for all the films we cover on this um, little show, um, as well as reviews that I covered before starting the show that I have not covered on this channel, so we get some new reviews too. Fun, fun, as well as lists. Um, my running best of, um, unranked best of list, which I update whenever I add a movie to the best of list, uh, up, um, and other best of list from years past, as well as other listed reviews. Um, also this weekend, I'm hoping sometime this weekend if I can get around to it, because I really need to hit some momentum on Star Wars, because, uh, Bad Batch is coming to an end, and I want to get the review kind of caught up before then, but I don't know if it's going to happen. It might be a little late on the Bad Batch review, but I'll get it done. And then, um, so I was going to do Solo a Star Wars Story this weekend, and then also finally do, it's been months, I know, I'm finally going to do that uh, long way to Good Burger Retro Review, and then, um, alright. Whew, okay, so again, like I said, all that stuff, find me on the letterboxes, like, subscribe, bell, all that jazz, kind of one another. Um, I love you all. Thank you all. Um, take care. Have a nice day. See you a little bit later. Bye.